<laughs> I got it. Is it? Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Hey, he didn't he didn't mute us. Did you mute us, you un? I'm English. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Headbanger Thrasher, nope. former nope. WWF no, tag team no, champion of the world. And I'm Paul. Who cares who you are? And you're listening to what is it? Geek, Geek culture. <clears throat> Geek culture. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> F. He's so like, fuck you. fuck you! Fuck that E. Fuck you in the E. Uh. My dad saw that for the first time. What? That. When? Like, <laughs> like last week. What? Yeah, I was like, you've never seen that? Yeah. We're live? Hey everybody, I'm Jason. And I'm Paul. And welcome to Geek Culture Live, our weekly podcast where we do things and stuff. Wow. Uh, that's so great. Off to an that awesome start. That is a pretty good description of the show. We though. do things and stuff. Yeah, we, we're a, a live interactive podcast where we can uh, we talk to you guys as you send us messages through the chat. And uh, we just talk about just kind of things throughout the week. Uh, games we've played, shows we've watched, news, and we play a quiz, and we do terrible food, and... We watch wrestling. We do all kinds of fun stuff. And if you want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash geek culture. That's G33K culture. And you'll be one of our fantastic patrons. I don't have the list of everybody that's in there. But thank you very much for all that you do for us. And you can go to geekculture.live. I don't think it's up there. It's not up there, right? No. Okay. You can go to geekculture.live and buy merchandise. We have hats and bags and chairs and stuff, pillows. Small children do, aren't the ones that make it, right? Right. 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 It's from Latvia, though, which is cool. So Dr. Doom may have some part of it. We haven't confirmed that, but... So, um... No children. Yeah? I, uh... I happened upon the fact that Dr. Doom isn't actually from Latvia. Okay. He's from Latveria. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so he owns Latvia as well. That's weird. Oh, okay. They're right, next to each, they're right next to each other. I mean, it's like all the if that's Lovakias. What that, if that's like, what yeah. that means. I mean, it could. They're all in the it same doesn't area. Mean, it does not mean that. That's either. right. See? It doesn't not mean that's right. a thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those, like. That is acceptable logic these days. Right. It, these days. Right. I think, like, of, of all days. You said that any time. You, you know, you're right. Yeah. It could be. There's, like, a million countries. It does not mean that. Right. That's what JFK would say. Victoria says hello. Hey, Victoria. Victoria makes some really cool tumblers for us, which you can get for 25 bucks. We got one somewhere. Uh, we got a bunch of things over there, but she makes them. Uh, they're handmade. You can get them in three different colors. They're really cool. I use mine almost every single day, and you can get them customized for 35 bucks. But, yeah, here's one of the colors that we have. Day's beautiful. You get a little geek boy on it, and uh, oh, that red is just fucking phenomenal. But yeah, she'll also uh, customize and give you any color. And then with your Geek Boy, you can get a name on the opposite side. Uh, just send us a message through our Facebook, and we will take care of you on that one. And thank you guys for all the likes and the shares and all that good stuff. We greatly appreciate it. What will happen? The alert box is very loud. I'm sorry, everyone. The alert box is loud. I would share this. But the alert box is loud. Right. That's what we're going to go with. <laughs> it's the alert box that is preventing me from sharing this to Facebook. What? Oh, yeah. what? What else? What um, else is preventing? I don't you? know. You want to find out? Like we can get like an exact date, a time frame. The time. The countdown to Jason's Facebook freedom. All right. So Final Fantasy memes, jokes, and other fun stuff. I'm gonna try to like your post, so I I can like it. Oh. Are you out? Uh, nope. Unliked it. It unliked it. It unliked it. <laughs> there it goes. That's Facebook just working incredibly slow. It's like, nope. It's we're, supposed we're to tell me. You're like bad. It's supposed to tell me. Uh, look and see if it's gone. Yep, it's gone again. It's gone. And we're gone. Yep, there we go. Restricted account. 
21 more days. See why? Uh, we don't need to see why. But look, see? Last year? Eh, <laughs> I might have had a couple <laughs> infractions. Cow. They so took back two of them. 21 more days. They took back two of them because, you know, fight the power. Three weeks. It's so funny because I uh, you, they give you different options now uh, for their cyborg company because it's not people that run it. Um, at least their customer service. So they give you like different options and one of them was like oh you just read this out of context or whatever but and i was that's the one i picked i was like it's just i was like come on it's funny like come on give me a break like is rob zombie really gonna see this on a random 800 person the office memes page i'm telling you he reported it it was rob zombie found it he's like yuck i mean i should have at rob zombie just to kind of stick it there because i do that sometimes just to see if they'll respond like when we post things on facebook i'll i'll like tag the person if it's art I, i'll try to tag them in it right um but like with celebrities or anything that they're in i'll just tag them in it because fuck it Who but knows? i don't say anything like disparaging about them i didn't tag rob zombie and his wife uh in that post, but <laughs> I just happened to say something. But you could have tagged um, Leslie Mann and Judd Apatow. Yeah. And what? It, yeah, maybe they can get me unbanned. He's like, wait, that's a fair statement, though. Yeah, I mean, it really is. And I I think that even Rob Zombie would agree with it. Yeah. Or find it funny. They're Walmart and Target. I mean, it's it's factual. If I did that, then I would have got away with it. I should have just made the meme Walmart. Walmart Target. and Target. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it would have gone over really well. But because. Then I'm not saying it, but... So what does that say about Judd Apatow and Leslie Mann? That they're Target. What's that mean? They're a fancier Walmart, because I can't say the other thing, because <laughs> it'll get our stream banned. <laughs> well, we we get what Walmart is. Yeah. Walmart's what got you banned. Right. Walmart people are what got what's, you banned. What's Target, then? Like a nicer version of Walmart. I mean, Target is Leslie Mann and Judd Apatow. So I'm, they're less... Uh, they're less... Um, Refuse-ish? Yeah, they're they're less alabaster refuge. Uh, yeah, don't say certain words on <laughs> uh, Facebook because they apparently after being banned like six or so times, they just look for buzzwords, and uh, yeah, just don't have fun anymore on social media. Well, yeah, well they're don't. watching you now. Yeah, they are. They Which know you awesome. need to be watched. That's awesome. Like seriously. Like I'm going to be on like a watch list for like hate groups. Oh my God. He's such a vile man. Do you hear what he says about <laughs> white people? Ugh. The Facebook watch list. Yep. No said it's the FBI. That guy's got some hateful things. You should hear what he says about Rob zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Going after white people. He can't do that. <laughs> you leave those white people alone. If you listen to the only audio versions of this, uh, I am white. <laughs> I'm super, <laughs> super white, just in case you don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it would be hilarious if you did complain about me saying that. That would be. But it would be you'd hilarious. Never, you'd never like, get to know. Like, but could you imagine the, if we got a complaint? He has the only last laugh in that. It's true. And then you don't get to see who reports you, so it's like, yeah, we don't even come get to on, know. what like, a bunch of bull crap. If Facebook, if you are reported by a celebrity – you should have to tell us. You should like have if to tell their us. if their profile is um, something that's like a public figure, right? Or a like what are we? Are we public figures? I I guess. Yeah. yeah. But anybody like yeah. that who right. that's their Facebook, like you right. could only be like you know fans of them on there. Mm -hmm. Um, those people. You should you should be like you should be told if you are re reported by one of those. Oh right, those, you right. know, like yeah, yeah, by yeah. one of those. Profiles. So like if a politician reports yeah, like, you, you've been be reported. Like, Whoa, that's you've been public. reported that by should, Matt Gates. That should. <laughs> oh well, then what did you do? <laughs> like yikes, <laughs> yikes. Well, you probably just pissed them off, but yeah, right. Um, but it, but, but, yeah. but no, Facebook's not going to take that seriously. Did it give me a, a notification for my like? I just want them to do it so that we know. Okay. I'm trying to like it, and it's just saying you can't post or comment for 21 days. You have eight previous infractions. Uh, you have posts of eight of your previous posts. Didn't follow our community standards. Eight. 
if I ever do become a more public figure, go through my Facebook. It's gonna be awesome to re see that stuff and be like, wow, like back in two thousand eight, <laughs> you posted. You called this person white. Out, uh, refuge and <laughs> I can't believe that you're not saying that word. I can't. I don't want to get the channel in trouble. I know, but it's just such like a. It's bullshit. Like, that's nothing. Like the FCC's even like. Who cares? Yeah, that's <laughs> like, what I got reported for, though. I said we don't even care I if you say that. May or may not have said in so many words white trash. It's hate speech, Jason. It is. It's hate speech because I use the t- I use white. If I if I would have said any like vanilla trash, I mean, could I get in trouble for that? Peach trash, movie trash, music trash. Like, when does what's the line? When does it become like when I'm point at you well if we're talking about director rob zombie, trash if we're talking about rob zombie it's movie trash so but like it's not music trash the music i love some of his early music do you see he's bringing back the monsters yeah which is pretty dracula crazy the yeah right he has the actual dracula um, um yeah i'm actually kind of interested in that because i i think he'd be better doing comedic stuff that's like comedic horror yeah rather than just straight horror um because i don't find his stuff really that scary it's just more like gratuitous and over the top or it's supposed to be but nothing happens on screen and then it's not it's crap Hot take. Rob Zombie movies suck. We don't like them. <laughs> like, they're not great. Hey! I understand that there's a following for it. There's a really, there's a really, like, there's a cult following. It's like with, um, not everybody likes Rocky Horror Picture Show. You know what I mean? It's not, I understand it's not for everybody. It's a huge, like, I, is that still, okay, so when does, when do things, are things always a cult classic? Or when do they become they not? They bombed at the box office, but then they find sales, higher sales later in their life. So then yeah. that, but then, so, but like a cult following means like a more rabid, like smaller fan base though. Right. Yeah, so but, when does that, cause Rocky Horror Picture Show is not a cult are, classic. You can't. But the, the fan, I think the fandom has to be a very, uh, like it's, they absolutely love this thing. Yeah. But do you, do you think it's like a, you think it's still a cult classic though? What? Do you do you consider Rocky Horror Picture Show a cult classic still? Is it always going to be a cult classic? Because yeah. everybody watches that movie now. Every they do they do reenactments of no, it. They do. I you think, can go to the movie theaters and I everybody think most of the people, knows. I think most of the people you know have seen that movie. I don't think it's but a selective I group. I think there is a very large group of people who have not seen that movie. See, I don't agree with that. I think it's or they a, might have started watching that movie. And I been think like, it's. A, I don't understand what's happening. I think that it's you can't call it. A, it I mean, it's it's everywhere. You can't say Rocky Horror Picture Show and people don't know what you're talking about. I, it literally happened to me this work this week at work. There's no way. Yeah, well, how it literally the happened. The guy that I would have never expected to be like, did you just reference Rocky Horror Picture Show? Right. Who was like, man, let's talk about Rocky Horror Picture Show. And like, guys like. Uh, so he talked about Rocky. Guys Horror Picture like Show. in his fifties, maybe forties. So you're making my point for and me. I'm confused. He's like a. He was in the military. He's like a oh, diehard Republican. That's what I'm saying. Everybody and he loves this movie. Every, that's what I'm saying. Everybody then, knows what it is. And then there's a... You're making my point for me. Are you arguing on the wrong side? No, because then there's another person in the office, and she's never she'd never even heard of it. Okay, what's her age? Age. She's 21. Okay. Do I mean... So, I mean, if you're our age, you've probably heard of it because it's just been... You've been alive so long. I'm sure you've heard of it at some point. It's everywhere, though. You can go watch it in theaters when COVID wasn't happening. They do reenactments of it at, like, Disney and stuff. You can go and see. It's huge. They do it in Gainesville all the time. That's what I'm saying. It's huge. It's not like a a cult classic means it's like a a selective group of people. It's, like, popular among that kind of people. The people that go to those. The guy that likes that movie. The people that go to those are the same people that go to it every week. 
the guy that like I I love the movie, but the guy that you described is him. And other than that movie, what what would we have that would connect us? I'm saying it. That's not a selective group. A selective group would be like only like like the goth kids really liked it. Like this movie is so like speaks to me. You talking like a selective? Like it's I'm 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 saying it's not a cult classic because it's more widespread than like Kevin Smith fans. Kevin Smith movies are cult classics because. There's two types of people that like Kevin Smith movies. No one and liars. And, <laughs> and, and it's <laughs> I don't want to go on and think about Kevin Smith. I don't know. I'd just say like angsty teens and young kid, kids in their young uh, early 20s. But I'm just saying like when really does... pick up on that then and then by the time you're my age and you loved him when you were that age like I I don't know when the last time I watched a Kevin Smith movie was. We went, we watched Dogma a couple weeks ago, and the whole time I'm just like, it's just such pretentious bullshit. Like I get the idea behind it, but every time Ben Affleck and Matt Damon they got on the screen, it's just like I understand the message that they were trying to get. Maybe it was just the actors, but like it was just such like preachy bullshit i'm so over it. and i understand that's like the point of the movie but I, I don't know if it's a writing issue or you're just like man you probably wrote this when you're like 22 and you're wanting to save the world and i think he did write it when everything he was is stupid and you're so fucking smart because you're in college and blah, blah 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 you know it just was so like um yeah i don't know did you have a did you have a, a ranking system set up for it I couldn't, get the pictures. couldn't get the pictures no. couldn't get the pictures so kevin smith would be uh hmm <laughs> for dale it would be a uh, for me it'd be, meh. Yeah. um i'm at a three a three no <clears throat> is it just a two then no th uh no because four is sucks Three is average. Two is great. One is whoopee, but I can do. I cannot live without this movie. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean. If that movie's on, I'm going to watch it. And if it's on again after it, I'm probably going to watch it again. Oh, it's on the West Coast channel? Watch it in again, <laughs> motherfuckers. I love that movie. That movie gets a, that a long time yeah. Either. I do love it, though. It's fucking great. It's a good movie. So we've been playing a lot of Fallout 76, as you're all interested. Um, I'm just building. Nothing's changed. Daddy, so, so is Kevin Smith dollar store? Kevin Smith. Uh, okay, so I don't know if that's fair. Okay. I, I would still pass up a Kevin Smith movie for a dollar. <laughs> Not saying other people would. You know, like, I don't know if you would. Personally, I still, I just, uh, further time, I guess they were good. Um, but I don't know, what's he done in the last 10 years? Tusk. Tusk is incredible. If, okay, so maybe I'll give him that one. If you haven't seen Tusk, it's really fucked up and great. And I love that the Justin Long character is great. I love that they just sneak Johnny Depp into it and they never tell you about it. And he plays like this fat, dumpy idiot, like. The, yeah, private investigator. You would never know. He's got like a, what is it like the, like the flat build hats, mm -hmm. mustache, kind of fat. Like just you would, and then you kind of look. You're looking at him, and you're like, wait a minute. It's like when you see Tom Cruise in Tropic Thunder. Dude, and you're like, right? Who? Wait a minute. Yeah, is that fucking Tom Cruise? I want you to take a step back and literally <laughs> fuck your you own face. Fuck your own faces. <laughs> Super intense. Um, yeah, Johnny Depp's in the movie is great. It's a fucked up movie. Yeah, I haven't movie. seen Tusk. It's fucked up. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's on the level of human centipede. Uh, see, I haven't seen that, but it's fucked up. Um, a, a fucked up, but also hilarious and kind of sad movie mm -hmm. is um, Swiss Army Man. Mm -hmm. That movie's incredible. <laughs> yeah. With with uh, Daniel Radcliffe. It's just so good. I love I love the the whole premise of it's great. If you haven't seen it, it's literally like a body 
that he uses to just kind of do all kinds of shit with. Like he's like, I need to chop wood, so he like uses his arm and smashes wood in half, and uses like his jaw to cut things, and he farts. farts so yeah. that's how he uses him as a boat, and he like puts a rope around his belly and just pulls on it, and, he just, <laughs> and he's just riding him, and it's literally so it's not a dummy. Like they they had to shoot it where like he's sitting on his back. And it's actually Daniel Radcliffe. And there's, like, water I've splashing seen, in his yeah, face. I've and he's, seen like, it. up like yeah. this, like a boat. And uh, it's so fucking good. And then it turns out to be, like, really sad. Because, uh, of course, it would. Because it, any indie movie like that that's, yeah. like, really fun and playful, you're like, oh, yeah, but it's also kind of dark and sad. And then it brings you back to reality. And you're like, this is not fun. <laughs> and then I, we were I, having fun. I had fun the whole movie. And then you're like, Why oh, did this happen? Why yikes. Did we do this? Yeah, right. Uh, I still recommend it though. That movie gets a. Uh, it's like when you're having. Ooh. It's like when you're having a good time with like an old friend or something. Yeah. Like say you're you about to leave though. Yeah. So. Uh, Can't yeah. believe that that alligator ripped them in half. No, it's not even that. It's like. <laughs> so. Yeah, the reason you haven't seen me in five years is I didn't know sodomy was illegal in Arizona. Oh my so god! You're just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm. S- yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so giving and receiving, apparently, it's not no good there. <laughs> Two counts. Yeah, and then in prison, apparently, it is not illegal if you catch my drift. I got, I and, got uh, two counts, though, if you catch my drift. <laughs> oh, my God. No, it's just nasty. Yeah, that's where you play my pooping face. Or, yeah, or like a drip. <laughs> <laughs> A drip? A drip, yeah. Speaking of drips. Yeah, where are we going? <laughs> He's like, you might want to go wash. Where are we going? Your... He's like, you might want to go wash your hands. What adventure are we on? I don't know. That guy is, uh, was in jail for sodomy, so. Two counts. Two counts? Uh, uh, uh. Um. Oh, my God. We're only at 824. Paul, what have you been watching? You watch anything fun other than Mortal Kombat? Other than Mortal Kombat? Uh, let's see here. So I I started watching. Uh, I got HBO. Did you now? And I started watching some things. <laughs> um, so I started watching Titans, which is the DC. It's not Teen Titans because they're like slightly older than teens. Right. Right. It's pretty they're good adult titans duh obviously in yeah. like their mid-20s they're the adult titans yeah robin's like in his maybe early 30s <laughs> there you go um and he's still robin it's kind of part of the story that he's you know batman's 30 year old boy wonder sidekick <laughs> boy wonder what <laughs> <laughs> um and it's yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's got some brutal fight scenes in it. Um, but it's got everybody like Beast Boy, which is a perfect name for an adult. Beast yeah, oh, boy. Beast Boy. Yeah, like what the fuck? Well, Boy um, Wonder Robin Hood. Like, what's with all the boys? You're adults now. Stop calling yourself that. I'm Beast Boy. <laughs> I've transitioned. I've. <laughs> <laughs> um. It kind of centers around, uh, so far, I'm only, like, maybe four episodes in, but it's kind of centered around Raven and Robin. Yeah. And then there's this chick with, like... Yeah. Yeah. With, Whoa. like, long purple... Whoa, that's her power. Long purple hair. She's she's a black lady. She's got long purple hair. Sasha Banks? And I guess... She, and I'm like, is she supposed to be Starfire? Mm-hmm. And I don't know. She is? Because she is not like the Starfire from Teen Titans. <laughs> no, isn't she like all. super powerful? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Daddy will ask if you ch- uh, checked out the Nevers. Not yet. No, I want to. I, I do plan on trying that out. The Nevers. I don't know what the that Nevers. One is. It's a new show on HBO. Of course it is. Yeah, I will see it never. It's like, looks like it's about people in like the late 1800s. Yeah. The oh. turn of the century. With superpowers. Lame. With superpowers. Was born twenty years ago. Stupid. <laughs> Who cares about turn of the century? Yeah. Yeah. Period. Piece. Uh, I've played Red Dead Redemption, 
And and I two. wouldn't want to watch the movie. Nope. I would. I would too. John, I did watch a movie. It was Red Dead Redemption. Just all the... Just the game itself. You're just like, oh my god. Yeah. Just piece it all together. Fantastic. Just get rid of part of Mexico. And, uh, wow. Well, no, wow. like not like in real life. It's just the missions there fucking suck. They went on forever. And they're also just like, yeah, he's not here. Okay. Yeah, you can't hear for nothing. Yes, yeah, stupid. Well, I got to still kill this guy, something a squala. And you're like, bang, okay. I'm going to leave Mexico now. And everybody's like, bye. Yeah, you have no reason to come here ever again. Yeah, the Mexican army won't keep chasing you. Just That's cross cool. the border. I love care. that, though. The online multiplayer aspect of that was amazing. I absolutely love that game for the online. Um, yeah, they didn't do it enough. The first one? No, the second one. Oh, no, the first one I fucking played the shit out of and then uh yeah just being able to shoot cannons and stuff online i, I want to go back online and do some videos because i i've i've had some ideas that i just think would be hilarious for us to do and uh this for red dead would just be fucking great because uh, i'm trying to get more content to put up um like i was talking to you about the fallout stuff i want to do a um uh cribs i guess it's gonna be fallout True. yeah cribs fallout 76 edition so we're going to get all of our bases all cool, and then I'm going to have everybody show them off. So it's going to be great. I got a lovely what house. I got a lovely – I know. That's what I'm saying, though. You can just bring us around. Tell us what you got. They're going to be like five-minute videos. It's going to be funny and stupid. I mean, once you see my house, you're like, wow, okay, what? Yeah. My house is not going anywhere. I literally cannot build anymore. So um, it's so funny because uh, I mentioned that to Dale, and he's like, so you're done playing the game, huh? And I was like, yeah, you know, maybe can't build anymore what's the point <laughs> uh, i ran out of space they got to give you bigger bases or i really hope they have you finished in your, inside your shelter no but it's gonna be the speakeasy and i've already got the piano i have the flooring i have the tables so you're the not chairs. Done. no i just have to put like lights in and i and i have i was really worried about not finding uh the traveling salesman because i needed to buy lights from him right and so i'm helping pablo or daddy will build his base and there he goes, super mutant fucking travelers right there. I was like, oh fuck! So I chased him down. What did you need to get from him? He he's the only one that has like table lights. He, oh really? He I got sconces now, wall sconces, and uh, candles. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And uh, and I bought him from him. He's the only one that has certain items. So I like to build in that game. It's like my favorite thing to do. Once I got that garage door, I was like, oh fuck! Like destroyed everything again rebuilt my house my garage is a pain in the ass just because things appear in it but to remedy that i put a turret on top of my stash box so if things appear inside of my garage they are trapped in there with a turret they cannot reach <laughs> so that turret's just gonna eat them up it's great i get attacked by lots of big things i saw a behemoth which i did i totally forgot about those um paul and i fought a, a sheep squatch yep um I can. Uh, it was pretty terrifying, dude. It's awesome. It's so funny because we're talking about fighting that thing. Yeah. And I was like, hey, we're gonna go do this, and then let's go try to hunt a sheep squatch because I just saw one. And uh, it was like literally part of whatever we were doing. Our quest. It was the end of our yeah. quest. We had to herd some cattle. That's right. And then at the end of her, we got a remember because we got the crooks. Yep. And uh, and, and then you we just walk up to him and herd them. The and at squatch. the end of it, a sheep squatch shows up, and it's awesome. It's a fucking terrifying monster. And, uh, yeah, I fought one of those, and then it, I was watching it fight a uh, a sloth, like a giant sloth, which I thought the game glitched. I saw these trees, and I was like, what the fuck is that thing? So I ran up, and I was like, oh, the game must have glitched to where, like, a something fell into this tree. So I run up to it, and then it unfurls and starts to, like, climb down off the tree. And I was like, holy fuck, <laughs> and it was the sloth. It was I, I thought the game was fucked up. I was just like, oh, what's that thing? Oh, my God. And it drops down and it just stands there. Yeah, they're friendly. Yeah, they just Until watched you, me. Yeah. And then exactly. the sheep squatch showed up. Well, because I'm running, I run away from him. So I run away from him to the street. And I look down the street and I see a bunch of fucking uh, rad stag just running towards me. I heard of them. And, and I was like, oh, this is kind of weird. And then right past them, there's the sheep squatch just massacring this herd. And then he sees me, and and then it was over. It was bad. He, I fought him for a little bit. I got him to aggro the the sloth. Yeah. So they fought for a little while. 
and then he did his one attack and it was like see you later was, yeah he was he was a lot harder than the sloth um yeah, i fought really... a sloth by myself the yeah. first time i saw one because it's one of, you, it for one of the challenges you have to kill every yeah. type of uh kill the animals kill everything <laughs> you gotta kill everything once yep um so i killed it and it was it, it i mean Obviously, it wasn't hard to do. he had to it wasn't hard <laughs> No, he like one hit that thing. I just I came back. The and sheep like, squad was he's brutal. Yeah. Alone, he was. I I couldn't beat him. He killed me so many times, and I was like, well, I'm gonna move on. I stopped fighting it because I I couldn't stop him. I didn't. I ran out of stim packs. My ammo is low. Yeah, you just don't have it. Dude, of course I do. Well, I fight the big things with my fists. Yeah, I mean I, when you when you're in close all the time. Yeah, I fought a. Uh, you need to get a. I fought a legendary. Um, you need to get uh, your healing beast. factor. I know. I did have it, and then I accidentally ratted it away. And uh, I thought get I had your health this. back every time though. you get through the fight. Yeah, I am um, not super punch things now. I use my power armor or that mole miner gauntlet, and I just punch the fucking shit out of stuff. It's great. I just. I'm jealous. I gotta admit. Cause it's dude. I want to awesome. do melee at some point. You should. I have explosive hits too. So uh, my next level, I have a twenty percent chance to do explosive damage with my melee so it's like every fourth hit bam Ooh, you know what i forgot about i can pick a second legendary perk yeah now. you're level 75 mm -hmm. yeah that's what i need to work to i i'm level 57 or 58 now daddy -O just said he's at level 43 now jesus Jeez. christ daddy is gonna pass us all <laughs> now daddy will pass us all soon <laughs> yeah fit 43 my god you started like a month after us if not longer yeah, he'll be, yeah, like a month after we did, he'll be passing us in no time. What time is it? Do we have? We want to start the quiz? It's eight thirty-three. Eight thirty-three. We can make that quiz last thirty minutes. <laughs> well, I've got a few other things that I saw. Oh, you saw things? Go. Yeah. Um. So I watched this movie called I told you about it. Um. Underwater. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's like a sci-fi horror movie. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. I really enjoyed that. Um. It was kind of in the alien aliens kind of vein. Not like it. Not like Alien, where you got like the one well, creepy aliens. slasher. It's like aliens, but ones. alien a little bit more like aliens because there's more than one of them. Right. Because in the first one, it's like it's well, no, the first one's more like a slasher movie. It's like yeah, there's it, they're fighting Freddy or Jason. Yeah, and then the second one's more like an action movie. Yeah, second one, there's like there's more of them. Yeah. Remember how hard it was to kill but one? And then it's like extra creepy because like in. In, like, the Jason movies or Halloween, not necessarily Freddy, but in those movies, like, you can get away. Right. You could get away. If you just start running, eventually you're going to, like, reach a town. Or in Halloween, you're, like, in a town, so maybe you can get to help or something. Yeah, you just go next door, but it, like, nobody does. But, like, in space, oh, fuck. no one can hear you scream. No. They, and you got nowhere to go. You're on a spaceship. It's weird for, because you're usually in a in a thing and they can hear you in that building or facility like yeah nobody's screaming outside in space and you're like i'm sorry i can't hear you in space no one can hear you scream that idiot and they're just banging on <laughs> the haven't thing. you heard that saying Help you've me. never seen alien <laughs> get, if you were on the ship i'd tell you to get off yeah it. if you were i would send you out the airlock Oh, that's what happened to you. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Oh. You're a frozen corpse. Oh, you're not answering because you're dead? <laughs> yeah, rude. You imploded? <laughs> Where was I? We didn't hear it. I Sorry, I didn't uh, if hear I you. Could you hear, if I could have heard you, maybe I could have done something. These fucking rude people. Um, I tell you, that everything now reminds me of that Snickers. It's that Snickers funeral. Let's just so you not, he's, he's not himself. <laughs> what it is now. But okay, yeah. So how, uh, it was a good movie. It's an awesome movie. Um, is there anybody famous in it? Yeah, it's got uh, Kristen Stewart in it. Oh, that's right. Um, you told me about that. But she's like the whole time. She's just like, yo, she's like in her underwear like the whole time though. Oh, right. She got a nice butt. <laughs> Oh, Paul said something dirty. Um, no, I mean, but when got, they're not in their awesome ass mech suits that they have, they're like you can see they're almost butt. like power armor suits mm -hmm. that they go underwater in. So they're like underwater in these suits with like yeah. underwater monsters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And then, yeah. And even, then what? And then even when they're not in the suits and they go inside, <laughs> they're in a they're in like a, a an underwater base that is also underwater. Can people hear them scream? Yeah, in, yeah. It's under, not space. In, it's underwater, underwater, no one can hear yeah, you. Yeah, no, you scream. can. It's just like. Gotcha. Oh wow. Something Those like kind that. of water monsters. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> got it. Yikes. Um, but it's also got uh, is that T.J. Miller? Oh, yeah. oh the yeah we talked about the Deadpool guy. Yeah, the guy that plays Weasel. Yeah. And the guy from Cloverfield. Right. Yes. Oh my like god. The whole movie. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's also in it. It's pretty good. Uh, it's got some decent action. Uh, it's got some decent creepiness and scariness. The decent monsters action. are awesome. Um, I don't want to ruin the ending. The ending is yeah, here to ruin pretty, it for me, so. The ending's pretty cool. Um, so what do you give it? I give it. Which is it? Is does it go? One is good, four is bad. One is good, four is bad. Okay, I give it a two. So that's which average. Is, no, three is great. Wait, what? Two is great. No. One is good, four is bad. Oh, right. Okay. God, why do we do it that way? Oh, no. one star. So one, no, one is bad. It gets a. One out of four. So it's a two? Yeah. It's average? It's, no. No? I'd give it a great. Not a great? perfect, but great. Movie you'd see again? I'd, yeah, I'd definitely watch you'd it watch again. You'd watch it again. Yeah. Um. What else did I watch? I watched something else. I don't know. I saw a documentary on Nickelodeon. And it was really cool because they talk about. Uh, do you know what the first three uh, Nicktoons were? First three Nicktoons: Doug, Rugrats, Run and Stimpy. That's true. It's yeah, he's right. That's exactly what they are. What's the fourth? Rocco's. It is. It's Rocco's. Yeah, Rocco's. It is. It's Rocco's modern life. life. Uh, it's cool because they get um, the guy. Uh, the guy with the mullet. Can I keep going? Do you want? To, okay, what's the next one? Because after that, it's just like they I want to see if I can. They well, at number five and everything. It's it just kind of goes from there. They don't really have ah, like real a, monsters. It was a part of the block. They added like <laughs> okay. six oh, at, at that once, point. They added. added at, at, they did the first three, and then they added like the next two, and then it was they're just like, here we go. Here's all this stuff, and it was cool. They talk about the creative pot process. They had Keenan and Kel on it. Coolio was on it. Um, they had, uh, uh, Lo yeah, Lori, Lori Beth Denberg was on it. Danny Camberelli? Uh, they had like, I th think so. They had, I think they had one or both, uh, Pete and Pete. Um, That's they, Dan yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they had, um, the guy that, that played the redheaded mullet, uh, like the, Bobby Budnick? The badass from um, Salute Your Shorts. Yeah, yeah he was on it. You would never, ever recognize him. Really? They ca I saw him like five times, and I'm like, who is this Is guy? that him? He looks, he's like a little, like donkey a little lips? hipster guy. Yeah, he, um. Because I, I still see him in things, so, and I'm like, oh my God, it's Donkey Lips. Yeah, so Donkey Lips is a rather large fellow. Yeah. Like much, much larger than he was. Like he. He's, he gotten does. older and grown a little bit. He wasn't, I don't think, fully grown yet as Donkey. Oh no, looks. he's like like obese. Like he looks. But he kept growing. He looks unhealthy. Yeah, he looks like you're like man, you're gonna have a heart attack like any minute, dude. Let's get this over over with as fast as you can. Interview him as what fast as you can. What was this on? I don't remember. Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max. I don't know. It's as I walked into my house, it was starting because Sam started it, and so I don't know what she brought it up on. Probably HBO Max. But just look it up. It's a whole Nickelodeon thing. They talk about Nick uh, Nick Jr. They talk about the Nicktoons. They get um, uh, they get the girl who played Alex Mack. She looks exactly the same. She looks almost exactly the same. Yeah. Um, they get uh, what's her name that played Clarissa, uh, oh, Melissa Joan yeah. Hart. She's in it. Uh, they get just. I mean, it's just so funny watching the Coolio because then they talk about like Keenan's like yeah when he was there. He's like, I, I was really young, so I didn't know. But he's like, you could just smell weed everywhere. <laughs> and Coolio's like, yeah, it was probably a green day. He keeps calling him a green day. He's like, yeah, well, he's like, he's like, so blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, no, as you know, I don't remember because it was a green day. He's like, as we just talked about, I don't know. 
And, uh, yeah, he's talking about getting high as fuck when he was about to do all that. And then uh, it's just amazing, like, all the <laughs> stuff that they do. It's really cool. They talk about all kinds of stuff. They get, like, like all the original creators and head, like, the guy that created Doug, he's on there. And he talks about all this stuff. They talk, they get, like, the actual, like, first president of it, the lady that, like, created, pretty much it created that whole uh, uh, station. And then uh, it's really cool. It's in-depth, but they have fun with it. And then it's just cool to see all these fucking Nickelodeon shows from our childhood. Like, they get, like, all the kids from um, Are You Afraid of the Dark. They get, uh, they get, like, all the kids from Are Afraid of the Dark. It's weird. Like, they just get... Yeah, man. They get everybody on that. How long is it? I don't Hour, hour and a half at least. Awesome. It's like a movie. Like, like you're cool. watching a movie. I mean, it's not like a short thing. You And then you just. Feature length documentary. Right. It, and then they do their thing. It's cool because they really give you in-depth stuff. So it's cool to see like this fun stuff. But then you actually get to hear from the people that created this station. So it's not even. And she's a huge part of it. It's not like they just kind of gloss over. Oh, she was the president of blah. No, everybody's like, we love this lady. She let us do whatever the fuck we yeah, want. We got um, to record whatever I want. She's like, there's no bad ideas. We want to make sure. She she turned down, like, uh, they had uh, Mark Summers from Double Dare on it. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, so they offered us, they wanted to make a cereal, and then I think a board game, and then I think the cereal or whatever. He's like, they offered us a million dollars to make it, and she turned it down because she's like, we're making this channel. Kids get enough fucking toys and because she they was like kind of like counter culture to ninja turtles and all that and transformers because the lady's like no 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 kids are like spoon fed this bullshit all the time we're not going to make products consumerism right she's like we're not doing products we're not making anything you know what i mean you're not going to be able to buy like an all that t-shirt we don't want to have yeah like consumerism was she was totally against uh so she turned down a lot of stuff which was cool it's like you don't see somebody at the highest level of a company like actually have uh uh like morals and then stick to them yeah like you could have got a i mean forever deal. they did nick jr from like during that time period of the day when you had like young, only young kids would be right. at home right and they're like okay well we're only gonna play like uh educational and well, programming that, for really that's young actually kids. what they talk about it she's like so we have the demographics so in the morning when you watch nickelodeon it was made for preschoolers because they're home and then at this time of the day we have the demographic for these kind of kids oh we made snick because all the parents and the older kids are out doing stuff and on saturday nights kids sometimes get to stay up later and they're at home because what do kids do on a saturday night when you're eight years old you're at fucking home like what else are you gonna do it's dark outside um so that's why they made snick they're like we have their demographic right there they're at home on saturday night and snick is amazing it's fucking great they talk about legend of the hidden temple they talk about nick arcade I mean, it's a whole thing. And then speaking of nostalgia, you posted on uh, Facebook about it uh, that they pick uh, LeVar Burton mm -hmm. to host Jeopardy, mm -hmm. which is just – it just shows you. If you, uh, if you. I saw another article saying that he's a guest host. No, no. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. That's a test run. I was like – That's a test run. Are you sure? It, yeah, because you know when – I don't want. I watch. I've been watching but too I much think, wrestling. I'm I like, you know, they, the pop that he's gonna get when he comes I think, out. I think they're doing. I think they're doing really well, having these guest hosts. That right. They like host for a week at a time. Yeah. Um. So you know they'll probably do that for a little while just to you know hit a you know get as many celebrities he, in he there earned, as they can because they get a lot of big people to do it. Like Aaron Rodgers did a week. He hosted for a week. Yeah, but he's. I won't say that word because I said a lot during our apparently, WrestleMania My dad review. apparently really enjoyed him hosting that Ew, show. Ew, Aaron Rodgers is a dick bag, though. Um, Ooh, was there Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's like early days. No, because they didn't talk about like what would you do, and uh, a couple others. They talked about the studio and stuff, but they went into like they had just so many people there. Uh, I think they, they talked about like there's a lot of their heavy hitter shows. They kind of glossed over some of them. They talked a lot about Clarissa and Alex Mack and stuff like that. And then uh, Doug, they talked a lot about Doug because they had the fucking original guy. Um, and then they talked about Rocco Doug? and all the other stuff. They had Doug? They did. The guy, the, they, they talk about the original him. original guy. They show the creator and you're like, oh my God, that's him. Like they show him dressed and you're like, he's right. literally dressed as Doug. I got one more movie. 
One more movie. And then we can do our favorite thing in the world. Quiz time. Quiz time. It's only 81 degrees. I was yeah. Kind of hoping there at least no Pablo circulation. would be in here. Pablo, come in here. All right. What's your thing for quiz time? Would but you, anyways, would you watch? the last movie. The last movie. I watched the Snyder Cut. Oh Jesus! Oh, How did you have four hours? Did I didn't watch, watch it. it. I did one... not watch it all in one sitting. No, because you can't. It they well they actually put it in episodes or parts. It's like part one, part two, part three. It's like five or six parts. So you can just you know start a part, watch yeah. that part, mm -hmm. maybe watch two parts. Was it enjoyable? Was it the greatest? It was enjoyable. The greatest comic book it movie experience It was better than the lifetime. original, and that even being four hours long was better than the original, which the original was pretty meh. Yeah, see, I don't... I, but it gives a... Makes the story a little bit better. The, the definitely gave the villain right. a little yeah. bit more... Uh, he was a little more than just a one-dimensional character. The villain actually had a story arc within the movie. Um, so, my question is, do we continue, because it's hard to, the comparison to, like, the original one's really tough for me to gauge, just because, like, you could recut anything and make it better, I think, you know, if you're, like, but if you, yeah, but, or you just refilm it, I mean, you have the people, it's not like it's that But old. that's basically and the which opposite. they did. Like, they recut Zack Snyder's movie to make Joss Whedon's movie. But what I'm saying, though, is, like, you get to redo it, and then you could refilm some of it if you need to, or you get to do it. Um, uh, well, I think oh, for I the Snyder Cut, thought. the refilming was never on the table. They had to only use already shot. You think with the Snyder Cut? But it cut was pretty much all, in? most of what he wanted to make was already shot anyways. Right. They did do reshoots for Joss Whedon's version, which is why we have the Superman yeah, mustache. And then it turns out, like, I mean, he's a piece of shit. So, I mean, allegedly a piece of shit. All right? He's the one, the, yeah, yeah. He's the Buffy guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Allegedly. I'm not saying that he, I mean, he, he may or may not be a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. But I did like it more, and I felt like it made a better, it made more sense. It had like a better storyline. Well, yeah, you got more time. A really long storyline, right? Um, but I mean, it's it's got great actors in it. The uh, the Wonder Woman woman portion when she first shows up, where she saves everybody in the bank, yeah, is so freaking brutal. Like <laughs> you're watching these superheroes and they just kill people. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like these people are dead. Like she just throws people into walls and you just watch their bodies just break as they hit them well i mean that's what would happen that's what i don't understand like that, that hey, superheroes that like, you don't three minute segment is better than all of wonder woman 1984 which i have not seen I, i'll never will i watched it with my mom and dad when i went to visit them yeah because my mom was like super excited i hope she doesn't watch this episode because right. i'm gonna be like poopy was that movie was poopy face. Utter shit. <laughs> that That's movie. All was I've heard face. is it was utter shit. And, and I don't think it. I don't think that it was anybody's fault. That it's whoever made that the movie's movie fault. was in the movie. Yeah, it's everybody's fault. It's collectively um, all of your fault. Well, it was like one of the first things to come out. But if they after the pandemic. But if like, they recut it, I mean, it could be a great cut movie through the pandemic where yeah, nobody but, could see each other. Well, just recut it to the parts that people like, and then you got a fucking four make hour a movie. Snyder cut. Of Wonder Woman 1984. Cut. I just, the Snyder Cut thing, like, I'm sure it's a great That's movie, how you save like, the DC universe. You Snyder Cut everything. Snyder, Snyder Cut everything. of uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, yeah. the, the second one especially, the Birds of Prey, because, or not Suicide Squad 2, but the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey movie. I, I'm going to watch that. I'm going to watch that. Don't do that. Sam really likes it, but she's on, like, this, like, super pro girl thing and if i don't like a movie with women in it then i'm like super sexist it's hilarious it's a it's a it's great for our relationship um but it's it's funny as hell because she just she, she like busts my balls about it where it's like yeah i don't really care oh it's because it's like an all-girl team and i'm like no that's nothing to do with it it's just harley quinn i do not care for if it was an all deadpool team i would feel the same way because i don't care about deadpool like I'm one of the few people that I'm like, yeah, you know, it's – and no. then working where I work, I'm so over it. Like, I get it. Like, yeah, Deadpool's funny and silly. And, oh, it's Ryan Reynolds and yay. Like, I don't but feel like, like there's a small mm. number of the people who vocally express their disdain for Deadpool. 
No, everybody loves Deadpool. He likes like tacos people, and chalupas and I feel all like, that. I feel like people who don't like Deadpool, they're like vegans and uh, CrossFitters. You got to tell people you don't like Deadpool. Yeah. So because you like Deadpool so much, because Paul loves Deadpool. Don't let him fool you. That's where this is coming from. Well, think of you being a vegan and me being somebody who really enjoys eating meat. No, if you didn't like Deadpool, that's what you would do. Oh, my God. <laughs> This guy bought an Impossible Burger the other day. So let's, I mean, I had to, to be try fair, it. of course I, you yeah, did. I didn't really like it. Of course so you did. It yeah, it's shit. Yeah, it's it was stupid. just mushy. So I'm talking about vegan. You bought an Impossible there's Burger. There's good. I would never do that. There's good uh, veggie burgers out right. there. Like, there are what, good ones. And that's, that's what somebody like Deadpool like would say. One. So that's what somebody like Deadpool would say. Well, there's some good Deadpool. Really? No, there's not. It's all shit. It's Deadpool is the vegan burger. Shit. No matter what kind you get. <laughs> Poopy. Get say down thumbs. The coolest part about um that was vegan. The best part about the Deadpool movie was the second one with Cable, um, because I really like um oh my god, he's in Men in Black. He's in everything. Uh the guy that plays Cable. Yeah, um Cool Man McDoodo. <laughs> Why can't I think of his name? Cool Man McMan Manly. Uh but uh, he, Josh, uh, Josh Brolin. Brolin. Yeah. Awesome. He's awesome in that movie. He played George W. Bush in W. Yeah perfect he was <laughs> he was perfect i haven't got to see that we almost so, watched that the other night but it's uh it's a uh, paul's favorite time of the show speaking of movies what time is it it's 8 54 it's quiz time it's quiz time everyone quiz time quiz time it's gonna be a quiz time yeah i'm wearing uh, uh jock strap no pants <laughs> no <laughs> I'm wearing a jock strap. <laughs> oh. I had something else in mind I wanted to say, and it just was gone. Yeah? I was say, was it terrible? <laughs> no, I was, oh, briefs. I, I'm wearing briefs. But I didn't Did they talk to John Kay from Ren and Stimpy? No, they talked about how great Ren and Stimpy was. Might have not talked to that guy, and if they did, he's kind of not a great person either. Allegedly. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's kind of icky couple of people they didn't talk about but yeah they talked about Ren and Stimpy a little bit uh, they talked about Doug a lot and then Rugrats and they talked about making the songs for Rugrats and I can't remember the band that made it but it's oh it's the uh, the guy that um, one of the guys from uh, what the fuck is that band from you gotta crack that with oh, uh, um, what the hell is the name of that daddy or where Devo, Devo, yeah. yeah. The the I guess the lead singer from Devo made uh, the Rugrats theme, and I think Doug's theme. Really? Yeah. You gotta watch it. It's so cool. It's such a cool documentary. Been on Quiz Time like two minutes ago. Kind of left on bad terms. Yeah, I think he left on bad terms because he's a creepy, creepy man. If it's he's the about Josh oh Josh Veden. Josh Veden. No, he's talking about John K from uh. From Ren and Stimpy. I think he, that was in, in reference to when you guys were talking about Josh Whedon, not Josh. He kind of left on bad terms. It's chick based. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then maybe Jason will hate it and say, look at this out. No, oh my God. You don't like it. And, I, and that it's so funny because we got in an argument about that the other day. And I was like, I literally just told you how, like, hilar- it was either how hilarious or great that I think some female actor was. I was like, I told you how much I, I loved her stuff. And. You're wearing a goddamn Golden Girls. Right? It's hot fucking pink. I love bitches. Women. Okay. Women. I'm ready. All right, Paul. Quiz time. Quiz time. Quiz time. Right, yeah. All right, so tomorrow is the Academy Awards. Oh, my God. We never did our award show. Next week, awards on geek culture. Um, <laughs> so today's quiz is going to be, be about Academy Award winners, and they'll all be best pictures. Okay. So each, we're going to go through all of our birth years, including Pablo and Kathy's, um, and we're going, I'm going to ask you who won Best Picture, and I'm going to give you the nominees. Okay. All right? Okay. Can you tell us the movies? Yeah. I'm going to give you the nominees. The you have to pick who picked, who was the Best Picture that year. Ah. All right. So we're going to start off with my birth year, 1983. Because you're the oldest. Your nominees are 
the verdict Tootsie missing Gandhi or E.T. the extraterrestrial. So did you send me the answers? Yep. Oh, well, I don't get to participate. Yeah, good, you probably shouldn't. Good job. <laughs> okay, so let's hear him again. Should I not look at the screen, or you're not going to post the answer, right? On the screen? No, I'm okay, got gotcha. pictures ready. So I okay, ended gotcha. up, because I thought Pablo and Kathy might be here for this, so I was plan kind of planning on doing it a different way. Okay. But since it's just us. Oscar and Toyland. All right. The verdict. Mm -hmm. Tootsie. Missing. Gandhi. Or E.T. the extraterrestrial. Lots of different choices. Mm -hmm. Well, it's all of them. I'm going to go with Gandhi. Sweet old chick. Come on, Cletus. Come on. You answering, Daddy O? Come. Yep. He said Gandhi. Come on, it's a juggling. <laughs> the answer is Gandhi. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. I use an actual picture of him instead of the shot from the movie. <laughs> well, it's him. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> hey, my, my Gandhi. And he's gone. He said it. Hmm. Why force him? <laughs> uh, I was watching a dude who reviews weird commercials, and it wasn't the nostalgia critic. Yeah. And the like second to last one was an appliance commercial. No shit. Yeah. Finally, get old enough to buy that stuff and be excited about buying like home appliances, and I don't. It's gone. Expense, Such bullshit. Thank you, Appliance Direct. Waiting my whole life to go see you. Why does this picture have to be like way down at the bottom? All right. So the next year is going to be 1984. Hey, fire. Whose birthday is that? Mine. Uh, let's see here. Your nominees are Tender Mercies, The Right Stuff. <laughs> The Big Chill. That's a really good movie, in my opinion. The Dresser. <laughs> that sounds French. Or Terms of Endearment. Ooh. Discuss. Yeah. Discuss. Okay. Go tell me one more time. Tender Mercies. Yep. The Right Stuff. The Dresser. The Big Chill, or Terms of Endearment. Ooh, see, Terms of Endearment sounds like it should be the answer. It's the one I really recognize. All right, I'm going to go with The Right Stuff. That's the one about uh, Chuck Yeager? <laughs> sure. Fuck what I know. I was born that year. <laughs> they just came out with a remake of it. On Disney Plus this year. Oh, did they? Year, in 2020. Did they? Yeah. Did you watch it with your Whirlers original? And no. <laughs> oh, speaking of things they brought back, uh, we got to watch that Mighty Duck show, and yeah. then we need to talk about it next week. That's our homework. Oh, Mighty geez. Ducks. The Mighty Ducks show. Yeah, the fucking Emilio Estevez is back, bitch. Did Daddy O answer? Daddy O said terms. The answer is terms of endearment. Of course it is. All right, next we have 1985. 85. What's your picture for terms? Oh, there it is. Man, I rushed and got all these pictures together to put it up for five seconds. <laughs> well, you can keep it up. 1985. When he answers the question, just be ready to hit it. Boom, terms. It. We'll put it up like in the center. Make it bigger. 1985. That That's Dale's birth year. It is. Um, so your nominees are A Soldier's Story, Amadeus, Places in the Heart, A Passage to India, or The Killing Fields. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Oh, 
motherfucker. I don't want to just pick all the same answer. All right, give it to me one more time. A soldier's story mm -hmm. places in the heart Amadeus, a passage to India, or the killing fields. Ooh, I'm going to go with a passage to India. Tom Hall also says Amadeus. Hi, Tom Hall. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Hi, Tom Hall. Tom Hall says Amadeus. Well, Tom Hall's right because the answer is Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. Amadeus. I'm a Tuma. Which year were we going to next? 1979. 1972, which Our is Pablo's birth year. Jesus Christ. Old bastard. When everything was just played on a banjo and a piano. <laughs> <laughs> For movies. <laughs> For everything. That's all they had. <laughs> what the fuck's a cello? Beautiful. I just got a cello on my bass. All right. Let's see here. We've got your nominees are, again, this is 1972. 72. Your nominees are. Taxi. A Clockwork Orange. Nice. Fiddler on the Roof. The Last Picture Show. The French Connection. Ooh. Or Nicholas and Alexandra. All right, give them, give them to me one more time. A Clockwork Orange, Fiddler on the Roof, oh. The Last Picture Show, The, the French, French Connection, connection yeah. or Nicholas and Alexandra. See, I think it's The French Connection, but I want it to be Fiddler on the Roof. My dad was going to play Fiddler on the Roof in high school. See, there you go. I'm going to go with Fiddler on Would the Roof. Would that help it win? Yep, that's 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 did it for me. Fit her on the roof. Where Let's go with that Hall? one. Yeah, Tom Hall. Just pop it in there and say Amadeus and then fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> Amadeus, Amadeus. <laughs> All right, the answer is the French, French connection. connection. Yeah. Just need to pick the right answer. Wow, Tom Hall said Fiddler. Ah. Yeah, see, I want to. Like Sorry, every Tom. answer that Daddy O picks, I'm like, yeah, I got to pick a different one. Picking the same answer is not fun for me. Well, if you're doing movie trivia with Daddio, that is the wrong tactic. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I, and winning, I don't care. But, um. All right, our next year is 1979. 79, giggity. Yeah, 69. 69. What's a 79? 69 plus 10. Giggity. What's a 79? Giggity. 69 plus 10, whatever you want it to be. You got ten yeah, fingers. Standing doggy style. Yep. You got ten what fingers. Else? Somebody's bent over like a seven. <laughs> the nine standing behind them. That's a seventy nine. Jesus, Paul. Six is just a fat dude trying to <laughs> That's what happens when we record after nine. Yep, once we Welcome hit to nine, Geek Culture Nights. Once we hit nine o'clock, it turns into Geek Culture Nights, even if we're doing innocent old quiz time. Yep. Innocent old quiz game. All right. 1979? <laughs> Did he, is that one of your... Daddy-o, shut the hell up. All right, here are your choice, or your nominees are Midnight Express, An Unmarried Woman, Heaven Can Wait, Coming Home, or The Deer Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one. I'm going to go with the third one that you said. Heaven can wait. Heaven can wait. Why not? <laughs> Are you sure? Fuck it. <laughs> Are you sure it's not... Deer Hunter? <laughs> coming home? I mean, it could be. Or the Deer Hunter? Yeah, if it's the Deer Hunter, this quiz is dumb. <laughs> well, you're going to say this quiz is dumb because it's the Deer Hunter. Well, of course it is. Should have been Heaven Can Wait. I don't know what either of those movies are. That's, that's what a shitty name for a movie. This is the best picture in the whole world this year's The Deer Hunter. <laughs> that's the name? Who's in it? Anybody? Robert De Niro. Oh, okay. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> you got it? I was just seeing him. Yeah, I just see it jumping on the screen. 
Yay, so Daddy O, you won! John Boyton coming home won Best Actor, I believe. <laughs> but what about Heaven Can Wait? <laughs> this is just there for the fluff. Yeah. They needed the fifth yeah. one. So that was quiz time. Like you heard the <laughs> other nominees. <laughs> like, well, what do we pick? <laughs> yeah, uh, that one. Just throw something at the wall. Yeah, so thank you for joining us. You can join us every single Saturday. I almost said Friday. Saturday at 8 p.m. We got to be getting close. I don't know. We're probably not close. We're like 80 episodes in, you think, now? Yeah. Yeah, we got to be pretty. We're like a year and a half into the show at yeah. least. October is when we started. Yeah, so I don't about count. a year and a half. That's unfortunate. Paul has dyscalculia, so he doesn't like I don't count. We, we bring up numbers. Yeah. He doesn't like I it. avoid anything that has to do with counting. Yeah, it's just. It's his no. I won't even count on that. Yeah, it's I won't even even when you say when you use the word count for something that has nothing to do with counting, I I I want nothing to do with it. That's right. Anytime the count would come on Sesame Street, I want nothing to do with it. Say no, mother. Nope. That changed. Mother, I wouldn't want nothing to do with this. And his mother's like that is an acceptable answer. I don't like numbers either. My uh, two year old started to tell me, uh, Daddy, that is unacceptable so there are the, her no, vocabulary there are no is amazing with, with numbers in their names that's fair uh but there is numbers in our name geek culture that's g33k culture you go to patreon.com slash geek culture youtube.com slash geek culture facebook.com slash geek culture twitch.tv geek culture i don't know the fucking just look for geek culture with uh, g33k and uh, yeah it's at the bottom and then you can get this cool shit from us lots of cool stuff Doctor Doom may or may not be associated. We're gonna look into it. <laughs> We're gonna investigate that. That will be a fe- an upcoming feature. Oh my god, it can be an episode on our show. Yeah. Uh, for the the actual show. We're gonna investigate we, uh, how our merch. kind of motor skills put them to work making geek culture shirts and we thank them for it <laughs> children don't make our stuff <laughs> that's what that look means Paul gives me that look that means retract your statement I retract that previous statement OBS just froze, froze. alright everyone we're going to get out of here while <laughs> we can bye have a great weekend and I'm Paul and I'm Jason Good night. <laughs> this is Headbanger Thrasher, former WWF Tag Team Champion of the World. And I'm Paul. Who cares who you are? And you're listening to, what is it? Geek, Geek Culture. Geek Culture. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect.